Uh, where Malawian journalist uh, uh, Gertrude uh, uh, Abudu Mkandawire is uh, standing by to give us an update on the situation in her country. Thanks so much again for uh, uh, joining us. Uh, just before we got cut off, you were telling us about the situation now that there were demonstrations and that the protesters were involved in some kind of uh, destruction of property, you said? Mm -hmm, yes, those are sort of... Uh increase in the violence that is actually taking place after the post-elections. People are not happy, um, despite the ruling Democratic Progressive Party supporters rejoicing. Um, we saw that other opposition parties, other supporters of other political parties are protesting, saying that it is not unfair that as of to date, a month after, rather a month after the election, um, no has actually been put in place to find out who real winners are after claims of rigging were up. So most of, as I mentioned earlier on, there's so much happening in terms of the post election. But one of the major things that people are talking about are the petitions were filed by opposition party leaders. This is my Congress Party President as well as the United Nations Movement President, Salah Sima, filed petition to find the electoral results. And as of last week, Friday, the Got a verdict and said that um, uh, what the vice president, what, what the president was uh, applying for, that the status should be not decided, that everything more was protected, meaning that the proceedings carry on. And as 26th of July, and uh, the proceedings from it. Now, because of this, people have been going to high court in this way, trying to find out exactly what is the most of the entire electoral result. And that's when the comes in, where people are celebrating, people are fighting, people are queuing. That's where they're coming to actually try to the right. situation. But as everything is a bit, and everything is, uh, I feel that most people that actually voted have kept down a little bit. And that they're not um, in the state to follow up all these things, and not in the state to find out about the elections. But they're, uh, they've honestly. Now, this is over a month for the electoral polls to take So I'm not even sure what the outcome of these entire elections or if the current president is still going to be president of this. All right. Gertrude, we're going to have to cut it short because of the quality of the line. But uh, we'll keep on trying to, to get a hold of you in the coming days to keep us updates. But thanks so much indeed for that update there. All right. So uh, difficult line, unfortunately, but uh, we'll try and get hold of uh, uh, Gertrude again uh, during the course of the next couple of days because uh, things are uh, uh, evolving in the country at the moment and uh, there are questions uh, being raised about whether President Mutarika will remain as president. The opposition seems to be gaining momentum with these protests. The army deployed to try and uh, calm uh, uh, the situation. There are fears though that uh, the army uh, might uh, be brought into the political frame uh, uh, in behalf of the uh, president at the moment. Uh, we're watching events as they unfold out there. But the opposition party is winning in the lower courts uh, to overturn the results and uh, have this case heard before uh, the courts. But uh, the president and the Electoral Commission of Malawi uh, also filing a counter uh, suit, as it were, uh, to going to the Supreme Court to have the lower court's decision overturned, saying that uh, the, the, the judges in the lower courts actually, uh, in the constitutional court, um, were erred in law in their ruling. So that story is still unfolding and we'll try and uh, keep uh, you up to date with that.